This video will discuss total communication. Developed by Meath HSE Speech and Language Therapy Department, the Adult Service. Total communication involves using any means necessary to facilitate a person's communicative interactions, that is, their communication with other people. To reduce the impact of their impairment and to optimise their communication skills. In this video we will present to you some examples of modalities in the total communication approach. There is not a one-size-fits-all, so people may use a variety of these modalities when communicating, to supplement or in place of the spoken word. The first modality we will discuss is touch. Touch is used to help people understand activities and to recognise people and places. The key with touch cues is to be consistent. When all communication partners use the same touch cues consistently in daily routines, it helps the person to understand and make sense of their surroundings as well as to recognise the people they meet. So for example, a hand on the shoulder may mean sit down, versus a hand on the hand may mean stand up. You can agree these cues amongst yourselves. Next up is texture cues or objects of reference. Objects can be used to inform people of what is about to happen. So for example, handing them a spoon means it is dinner time. Or a person may choose from a selection of objects in order to request. So for example, they hand over the spoon to request their dinner. More complex interactions can be set up using a choice of textures to represent things. Things like location words, or people. So for example, a spoon placed over a velvet texture may mean kitchen, but a spoon placed over a rough texture may mean chef. Braille. Braille is a system that is widely used by blind people to read and write. Letters and numbers are represented by raised dots in different combinations and these correspond to different letters and numbers. Environmental cues. The world around us has various different pictures, symbols, colours, noises and textures that all help us to function in our daily routines. So for example, the H sign for a hospital or the red light for stop the sound of the phone ringing to let us know someone is trying to call us, or indeed the smell of the dinner cooking so we know it is near dinner time. There are so many examples that we could think of in our environment. Another total communication modality is non-verbal communication, such as facial expression, gesture and body language. These non-verbal communication examples can be used very successfully by people to get their meaning across and to help them understand what is said to them. Facial expression and body language can send a message on its own or else enhance or change the meaning of a verbal message. Gesture can also be very useful when understanding the spoken word is difficult for the person. Signing systems involve sets of hand or body movements that represent words. Signing systems vary in complexity. Examples of signing systems are sign language for the deaf and Makaton. Different countries and regions may have their own signs for certain words. Many people respond better to information that they can see rather than information they hear. 
Pictures can be used to represent words. Pictures and visual schedules are useful for supporting understanding of spoken word and also for helping people to express themselves through picture selection. People can communicate by pointing to a picture. Visual schedules are useful for showing pictures of the daily routine or schedules that show pictures for each step involved in daily tasks can be helpful for people when following instructions. Many people find it useful to write down what they are trying to say or even to draw a picture to get their meaning across. Many people will understand the written word more easily than listening to the spoken word. Alphabet charts can also be used where the person points to the first letter in the word they are trying to say to help the listener figure out the word or else they may spell out full words in this way. Another total communication modality is eye gaze and partner assisted scanning. The person's eyes are calibrated with the computer screen and the eye movements correspond with the movement of the arrow on the screen, allowing them to work the computer with their eyes. A less technological version of this involves a partner following the person's eye gaze as they look at various symbols on a board to get their message across. And finally we have alternative and augmentative communication, otherwise known as AAC. AAC involves both low-tech and high-tech devices which facilitate communication. Devices vary in complexity and need to be matched appropriately to the needs of the individual. Low-tech refers to less technical options, communication aids that are not electrical or battery operated, such as a book of pictures or symbols that can be used to communicate. High-tech refers to electronic devices. I hope this video has given you a basic introduction and information on the total communication approach. If you would like more information or support, please contact the Adult Speech and Language Therapy Department on the below number or follow us on our social media channels on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Thank you for listening.